Well, it's been a interesting last few weeks. So let's talk about some positive stuff for once and enjoy the lights on this week of Big C. So I want to start off uh, by welcoming everybody. As you can see, we uh, we have a new light system out here. Um, and I, I kind of showed it off for the first time later on in the video. So this is kind of a spoiler, but I just thought this was way too much of a vibe not to uh, show it off and do my little bumper clips out here. Uh, so yeah, we got lights and I have some positivity. One thing I will say is uh, obviously the last several months, especially on this series, have been filled with a lot of negativity, a lot of struggles, a lot of things that could go wrong, that did go wrong. And uh, it's been rough, but I can say that for the first time in a very long time, things are genuinely good. Um, genuinely good. So. We'll go over that in the recap. It's a sunny Friday afternoon and I uh, figured I'd give a little bit of an update as I am a couple days away from finishing my training at Rail Boogers. Hey everybody, it is Friday uh, and as you can see, I finally got my haircut. Uh, I am so happy to finally have a haircut. It was miserable to have my hair that long. Uh, it makes me really, uh, well, I, I don't envy women who have regularly long hair because yeah, I, I, it, I couldn't do it. It was not pleasant at all, uh, but I'm glad I don't have to deal with it anymore. Um, so, What's been going on? It's been a little bit since I filmed the update. Uh, we've had some good things happen. Um, Corey's back to work. I might have mentioned that before, but Corey's back to work. Um, I'm almost done with training. I'm two days away from finishing up. Our graduation is gonna be on Wednesday of next week. So that's exciting. Um, this week has been pretty much taking calls and learning more about, you know, what to do in certain situations. So it's been an interesting process for sure. Um, but yeah, everything's good, to be honest. This is, this is honestly the first time in a long time where I can genuinely say everything's good. Um, my health is going to get better. I mean, it's already doing okay. Um, the, the day I went out to do my, to get my hair cut and all that, that took a lot out of me, but I also haven't done a solo trip like that in a while. Um, so hopefully the more I get used to doing that again, the better. Um, I still have to wait until June to get my medical benefits. Um, but once I get those, uh, things will start getting a lot better on that front as well. Uh, cause I'm, I'm already, as soon as I am able to, I want to, um, book a doctor's appointment to hopefully get my knee treated and other ailments, uh, at least try to figure out what's, what's going on. Um, mostly it's my knee and my lower back that are the biggest problems. My, my feet are still not great but um i mean i know what's wrong with those at least it's it's the tendonitis so you know hopefully i can find ways to fix that um or at least treat it so it's a little less painful but the nice thing is i don't have to stand for work anymore so it's it's not nearly as bad um one thing that I've learned, especially over the last couple days, is that I work for a really good company. 
Um, so I have a couple colleagues of mine who have been dealing with some pretty interesting situations. One of our members of our training group actually quit uh, last, no, earlier this week um, because he got offered he a like basically a dream job. So he, he quit to do that. Uh, apparently it fell through. And I mean, most companies, if you do quit in the middle of training, you're just kind of out of luck. Um, he not only, he, he basically reached out to the company and not only did they let him back, he got to rejoin our training group. So he's basically back as if he never left, even though he's been gone for, you know, probably close to a week. Um, he's been gone for at least a few days, but like, that's impressive. And then even more so was another colleague of mine. He got sick and has, um, he had to go to the hospital yesterday because he has a bronchitis. And normally for training, they, they, you know, they tell us like, we basically can't miss time during our, basically during our first 90 days because... We have training and then we have our um, sales development period where we're like working hands on with managers. Um, they're trying to help us develop into being the best salespeople we can be. So we, know we, we, we have to do our absolute best not to miss any time, at least for the first 90 days. And uh, my colleague had to go to the hospital, obviously. Not only, and, and when he came back, um, he was told by the doctor he basically couldn't talk for much at all. And obviously that's a major problem when you're a salesperson and your job is talking on the phone. Well, the company not only um, took care of his doctor's appointment, they made sure he was paid the entire time so he didn't miss... Not only did he not get in trouble for having to leave early, he got paid the entire time and he was given the ability to shadow over the next few days rather than actually taking calls and just keep notes so he's not being penalized in any way shape or form by the company for not being able to do his job because they understand and they're working with him on that and we actually had a meeting today with our scheduling manager who basically just told us like, look, I'm gonna do everything I can to work with you. Um, Cause you know, they know that life comes up sometimes. And as long as you, you know, you're doing your best and uh, you're, you're, you're working with a the company, they're gonna try to work with you as best they can. So that says a lot about this company. Cause I freely admit the last now three companies, I mean, four if you count Disney, um, really didn't, care that much um i mean i dealt with a lot of problems and i was at disney for 12 years and my last couple years i was treated like garbage um just another number like despite the fact that i put in 12 years of work and gave my all all the time as soon as i started dealing with medical issues they refused to work with me they weren't understanding even in situations that were beyond my control it was ridiculous um you know comcast they fired me for doing what i was trained to do which is just baffling to me um angie they just weren't you know they didn't care they just wanted you to make sales and if you weren't making their quota you're out you were just a number to them and then my last job at sls i mean that was just a bad fit. I mean, I, I could have stuck around um, if I really wanted to, but it just wasn't a good fit for me. Not only that, but like how they, you know, the, the end of my time there was what really messes it up. Cause like they, they say all these great things. And then as soon as you walk away, you know, you're not getting your money for years. Uh, and of course they don't tell you that until after you leave the company and it's, it's a bad situation. So, um, Railbookers is the first time pretty much since I left Disney that I 
honestly have a lot of respect for the company as a whole because if they're willing to do that if they're willing to you know especially because we're we're new we've only been here a month not even a month and the fact that they're already willing to do that for us that says a lot they also think very highly of my training class everybody in our group has been absolutely killer so um yeah i'm 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 very happy where i am that's pretty much what it comes down to is i am i'm very happy where i am uh rail bookers was definitely the right place for me to be at the right time so i'm very happy that i was able to come over to this great company so yeah um that's what's going on i'm enjoying the rest of my day i'm uh, gonna get some editing done because i have a few videos that i filmed and a couple i haven't filmed yet that i want to film um and then i got two weekend days of phone calls and then uh starting my weekend off on monday so yeah it's been good i'm just i'm just happy that finally for once i'm not anxious i'm not stressed to high heaven i don't have to worry about how i'm going to be able to eat the next week i don't have to worry about how i'm going to pay my bills the next week um i don't have to worry that i'm going to get fired for making one minor mistake um i'm just calm it's it really does feel like you know once we finally turn that corner we're, we're on a nice straight away a nice calm breezy beautiful straight away and things are going to get better pretty quickly they already have gotten significantly better so yeah just wanted to give you a little update i'm i'm feeling good things are good and they're going to continue to get better as uh, as the year moves along Hello everybody, it is Sunday and it is specifically Easter Sunday. Uh, he has risen, he has risen indeed for those who celebrate. Um, I had to work, uh, but it was a pretty chill day. It was my last day of training technically. Um, so we had four, day, four weeks of training and then starting next week, I'm in the sales development team basically where I'm on the floor taking calls, but they're like supervised calls where I have people, you know, pretty much there to help me develop and make sure that I'm the best salesperson I can be on the floor. Um, so that's starting on Wednesday along with my assessments, which is exciting. I will say I'm pretty confident in how I did. Um, today I took one call that was really good. Um, I pretty much did everything I was supposed to do by the book. Um, you know, it was good because my, my training group, I wouldn't say we're hard on each other, but we're also, we're, we're there to help each other grow. And I was harder on myself than pretty much anybody else in the team was. Like usually, you know, if we make a mistake or uh, we have a, a spot where we can improve, the team is very quick to point it out to help you grow and to help you learn. Um, nobody really had any notes for me. Uh, in fact, they even said that my one note, which is something I thought I could improve on, they said, no, you were good. You didn't really have to improve on that. So uh, that's nice. Um, but I feel really good after that call. And uh, I'm pretty confident going into my assessment that I'm going to kill it. And uh, I think I'm going to make a, a good first impression uh, on the sales floor. So that's really exciting. Other than that, uh, not a whole lot is going on. Um, things are good. I mean, it's we're still kind of ramping up again to everything that's been going on. Um, you know, it because of everything that happened over the past several months, it's been tough. And there's a lot of catching up we have to do when it comes to bills and when it comes to other things. Um, there's a lot that we need to do in order to fully get back in the swing of things and of course for me part of it is uh improving my my physical well-being um so i haven't really just shared an update on that in a while i i did go out to get my hair cut 
um, on, or a week ago, on Tuesday, or was it Monday? It might have been Monday. Um, and it was good. I, I wasn't able to walk super, super far. Um, normally what I used to do before all this happened is I could, you know, walk to and from most places and then, you know, I'd have to sit for a little bit because of my back issue. Um, it was harder this time because the back issue is a little more severe. And then on top of that, my knee, I can't walk quite as well. Um, so I didn't do nearly as much walking as I normally do just because it was, it didn't work well. And of course my feet weren't great either. Um, after the amount that I did do, which is more than I've done in a long time. But like I said, I've been trying to, you know, at least do more walking around the house as much as I can. I don't scoot anywhere. I haven't done that for a long time actually. And I'm trying now that things are better whenever I have an opportunity to go out and like do a little walking around, I try to do so. Um, I know a lot of it is gonna depend on when I could go to the doctor, which right now is not going to be until June because that's when I get my benefits. So I kind of have to just deal with it as best I can until June. And then once I get those benefits, I'm going to try to fairly quickly schedule a doctor's appointment and hopefully get some of this stuff treated. Cause I mean, especially the issue with my knee um, and hopefully like, the, the main things I really need treated are the knee and the back. Um, Cause if I can get those resolved then I can actually start walking a lot easier than I had been, um, that's really gonna help out and that will advance a lot of things. Cause that's the problem. Like I wanna do a lot more walking, but it's very difficult to at the moment just because of my knee and my back. So if I can get those resolved, like my feet, there's still a problem. It's tendonitis. That's a problem that's not really gonna go away, unfortunately. Um, but I, I, I have Crocs that I wear on a regular basis and those help a little. Um, and I think once I'm able to at least walk on a more regular basis, that's also really gonna help. Um, I just gotta get there. So working on it. Um, and that's, that's one of the things I'm trying to improve. Um, I've already been, you know, working on trying to eat at home a lot more. Um, cause one of the really bad habits we got into both Corey and I is we ordered out way too much and it was too expensive, but also not good for us. So one of the things I started doing pretty much as soon as I got my first paycheck, uh, was, you know, get groceries to cook more at home. Which makes sense logically because I only have a 30 minute lunch at this job, which I know some people don't like because, you know, they don't have a whole lot of time. My feeling on it is I'd rather only have a 30 minute lunch and then get off earlier than have an hour and get off at like six. I'd rather be off at 530 than six. I know it doesn't seem like that big of a difference, but I don't know. To me, I, I'd rather have that freedom to kind of do what I want a little bit earlier and just have a 30 minute lunch. So because it's only a 30 minute lunch, um, I've had to get a bunch of stuff that I can cook very, very quickly, which I have a good amount of it. Um, we also did get an air fryer again, finally. Our, our last one broke at the old apartment and we, we've been meaning to get a new one for a long time and just never got around to it. Finally got one, it's really nice. It is a uh, Instant Pot brand air fryer. We tested it out uh, making some air fried PB&J. It was actually very good. But actually today, I'm probably gonna have air fried sandwiches for dinner, just cause that sounds good. Uh, and it gives me an excuse to use the air fryer some more. So, um, but yeah. Um, that's that's kind of a goal and then especially once Corey starts getting paid um the goal is we want to try to start especially on days when we're both off or when like he's off and i work till 5 30 or you know not too too late 
Um, we want to try to start maybe planning some group meals so that we don't have to worry about, you know, ordering separately. We could just kind of make a, make a meal that both of us can enjoy. Um, so that's, that's been a plan. I think it's going to work out pretty well when we get to that point. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much everything that's going on. Just things are good. Uh, it's the first time in a while that, you know, every day I get off work and it's like, you know what? I'm not super stressed. I'm not freaking out about what the future holds. I can get off work and just relax and enjoy things. And, you know, things are going to get even better as we go along. So it's, it's really nice to have that sense of calm now that I finally gotten over all of the mess that I had to deal with since uh, October. So it's been good. Um, but yeah, that's what's been going on. Hey everybody, it is Wednesday and I just passed my assessment for Rail Bookers, so I'm officially a count executive with them. Uh, so now I get to go into what they call the sales development team, where essentially I'm making sales, but I have like a little extra help. And then they pull us in to like assist us when we need help on things. So it's like, kind of like giving you training wheels, so to speak on the sales floor. So uh, feel pretty good. My, my assessment call probably, it went about as good as you could get. It, uh, I did well, I did all the things they were looking for. Um, it was abundantly clear that I was doing all the things they were looking for. So I'm pretty proud of my performance. Uh, one of my colleagues apparently even listened to it and uh, he thought I did an outstanding job. So pretty proud of that. So yeah, I am officially official. Um, now, uh, tomorrow I get to start making calls. The only downside is my schedule changed. So now I'm working 11 to 7.30 on Wednesday through Friday, and then 9 to 5.30 on Saturday and Sunday. It's not that big of a change. The only part that's gonna be kind of annoying is that Friday to Saturday, just because I'm, I'm getting off at 7.30 and then I have to start at nine the next day. So I don't have a whole lot of time between then, but I'm also off at 5.30 on Saturday, so it's not as bad. Um, but, I don't know. It is what it is, and more than likely it's only gonna be temporary, because once I can start, you know, crushing it, making some decent sales, um, then I'll be able to bid an earlier shift, because that's definitely the goal. I want to work earlier than that. Um, I mean, for shift times, I'd like to work 9 to 5.30, because I actually enjoyed that. I thought that was a good time, but I might work a little bit different depending on um, when I get the most sales. So we'll see. But yeah, that's what's going on. I passed and uh, feeling pretty good. So I'm out here on the porch at night this time because as you can see, we now have new lights. I actually got these a couple days ago. <clears throat> They're LED lights. They're weatherproof, they can change colors. They're really cool. Very happy to have them. So, the hope is now, this is kind of the start of uh, making the porch more of a vibe. But it's pretty dope, I like it a lot. I just wanted to show them off, pretty much. And that brings us back to today. Uh, today is, Thursday and I figured one thing I'll do is kind of talk about I guess the future of this series to an extent so I know the upload schedule has been kind of inconsistent for this series and I, I part of that is I just really don't want to I don't want to do it every day or every week like I did before um I mean, just because it's, especially if nothing happens, it's like, come on, like, do I really need to do one this week? So 
I'm considering essentially making this kind of a once a month series. So instead of it being every week or whenever I decide to upload it like it is now, um, we'll do one once a month and I'll try to like accumulate all the episodes into one um, and upload it like the end of the month or something, or maybe the beginning of the next month. Maybe that works better. Um, I'll keep it on Sundays, but I think possibly doing that might make it a little more interesting. That way, um, you know, it's not boring. It doesn't feel like something I have to force out just because there's nothing really else going on. Um, and I will make it a little more regular. Um, I also considering a name change. I know it's not necessary, not completely necessary, but I do feel that this week with Big C doesn't necessarily reflect it if it's going to be changing to month. So maybe I change the name to this month with Big C. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I just tell you that, I mean, I, I don't want to go back to doing this weekly, at least not for a while. Um, but if you'd rather it be like every few weeks or like whenever there's content to share, I can, I can try to keep doing that. Or if you'd rather have more of a set schedule, but it's monthly instead of how it's been, we can do that too. Um, just let me know in the comments and we'll, we'll go from there. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much what's, what's going on. And that's going to do it for this episode of this week with Big C. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're new around here, be sure to hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell. That way you know when new videos drop. And uh, I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.